What we're looking at here is what we call a check unit, and it's uh, an acronym for Controlled Holistic Environmental Chamber Check Unit. And in uh, this uh, unit, uh, people sleep at night, and they also listen to our audio exercises in this same place. So, for instance, um, uh, a normal day would, would look like uh, somebody sleeping in here at night. We would wake them up over the loudspeakers with some music in the morning and, and with some affirmations. Then uh, they would go to exercise if they want to into breakfast, and then we would gather in our main gathering room to set up the exercise. Then we would tell them to come back up to their check unit and they would listen to it here. So you notice it's got this uh, curtain. It's a very heavy curtain that helps to seal out sound and also light, and it's got Velcro on the sides. And it, basically what it is is, is a uh, bed with four walls on it. And the idea is to limit the external noise and uh, the external distractions so that people can begin to focus on their internal processes. And uh, it really allows them then to move much more easily into these ranges of perception that we've talked about before, which uh, in years past and in generations past would have been reserved for those who, who would spend long periods of time in meditation or using other technologies such as dance or drumming or whatever. But again, we can move people through the process uh, much quicker here. We've had, uh, we've had even Buddhist monks who come through here, and uh, one of them said to us, oh, you Americans, oh, you Americans, it, what takes us 15 years to achieve, you do it in six days. And so, uh, it's really, a, it's really a very stunning process because very quickly, for the most part, people can uh, witness and experience things that they might have only dreamed of before. So when you kind of look at this, it's just nothing more than a, a basically a bed. And we've got uh, some headphones that we put on. And uh, we invite people to lay back and get themselves comfortable. Again, the idea is to limit as many distractions as we can. Of course, the body can be a distraction. So uh, we want them to be comfortable, you know, to wear loose clothing. And so we'll take them through an audio exercise and they'll close the curtain and um, see what happens. And then after, after they have it, then they come down and they talk about their experience if they want to. And I think that's part of the integrity of what we do here is that we don't tell people what they should experience. We don't tell them what they should expect. We don't give them dogma about, uh, about the experience itself. We um, instead direct them to the, maybe, if you will, the guru within, the wisdom within. We trust that implicitly because we've seen repeatedly down through the years that that inner guidance, that inner wisdom is uh, genius. It, it's, it's, it's stunning in the, uh, the amazing ways in which it can move and work with us and communicate. We tell people when they're going through the experience to make sure they keep a journal of everything that's happening. We say, it doesn't matter how big or how little you think it is, write it down. Get a record of it. Because you'll see that, hap that as you move through the week, these little pieces will start to come together as if they are pieces in a puzzle or a mosaic. And as you add those pieces, you begin to see a picture that you could have never imagined before. And that's when you really realize that there's a genius that's directing the whole process, that it's not happenstance and that it's not a haphazard process at all. It's something that has intention that has purpose and has meaning behind it. So anyway, that's, that's what we do here, and uh, this is kind of the basic tool that we use. We invite people to, uh, they can change the, the color of the lights, they can put the volume up or down, and uh, different things to make it more comfortable for them. But basically, it's a bed in a box, and, uh, but amazing things can happen in that box. Uh, some people, come here and, and they will say that they're claustrophobic. 
But it's really surprising how many of them, once they crawl into this, they have really a sense of being nestled into something that's very welcoming and inviting. And uh, I've, on more than one occasion, I've had somebody who thought they were claustrophobic come back and say to me, oh, I just love my check unit. <laughs> so you never know how a person's going to react to it. If a person is claustrophobic, they can listen to the exercises with the curtain open. The cord on the headphones is long enough that they could even sit in the chair if they want to out here. And, um, and, and they can still get uh, great results doing so. So we have ways of working around that.